Hello, gorgeous, and welcome to something a little bit different. This is Read Only Memories, or as it is titled now, 2064 Read Only Memories. It's something of an adventure game visual novel that I played on its original release a few years ago when it was, again, titled slightly differently and lacked things like a voice act. And I thought, since it's such a neat little story about various cyberpunk themes, such as the nature of consciousness and who we are, and also more personal things like how we build relationships and identities, that it's something that more people should experience. Recently they added new voice acting to the game, and I'm very excited to hear that. And I'm hoping that it makes it a more pleasant and fun thing for everyone else to go through as I play it now. Rather than simply just having, you know... Alright, so... Let me pause a moment. All right, let's get into the game. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, Humanity's destiny will be altered forever. So there we have our introduction. Some lovely nerdy references in the naming of certain things. Particularly like the monolithic company is called Parallax. No, I don't want to skip. I just want to keep going. Oh dear. Prologue. Home sweet home. Maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. Yes, this apartment doesn't look like it's in great shape. And now we can interact with everything. So, let's... We 
have on us just an ID card. A small plastic ID card with your name, picture, and stats. So, let's see. Here's our very classic adventure style interface. I don't believe I can talk to this poster. Thanks for the tunes. Maybe one day they'll get released on lips slash slash music. Just be a network thing. Your friend Hayden gave this to you. The group is old, but their music is timeless. That's what he said, at least. Careful, that's a load-bearing poster. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, look at this. You don't know exactly what that ooze is, only that it seems to be growing day by day. Please do your dishes, dear. Running water might just make it worse. Oh no. Can we talk to it? You asked the blob in the sink, not to loiter, but it bubbles up at you. Oh, oh no, I think it's alive. Uh, we don't have any items that could be used on the sink. What is uh, the deal with our fridge? The video screen on the front says, Mustard, half full. Spoiled milk, ten days past expired. Oh no. You open up the fridge to see a bottle of mustard and a carton of spoiled milk, which has developed an odor. Maybe the spoiled milk has one more good day on it. Maybe. Don't do it, man. Alright, let's take this milk. It could come in handy. And we've gotten an achievement for that. You can't possibly imagine the undescribable, inhumane horrors you're about to unleash onto the world. Or the stank. Yes, please don't. You remind the fridge that you need to pick up some more milk when you go out. It jots down milk on the list. Milk. It jots down milk. Probably ch best to just make a mental note instead. You've had enough vitamin R for one lifetime anyway. I'm not quite sure that's how it works. GX Ultra Beats Headphones. A pair of Ultra Beats. The ultimate in budget audio. You better try them out so you can start crafting your review. Yes, I believe we are an independent journalist of some type at the start of this. The smart headphones are enjoying your voice in high definition. I might as well take them. Headphones have been added. These are the GX Ultra Beats you have to do a product review on. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use this with some things lying around your apartment. First, let's keep examining things. Single piece of loose and sort of paper lies on the ground. A page only holds the opinions of its author. This one's blank. I suppose we're a bit of a struggling author at the moment. It sort of suits the room aesthetic better with it there on the ground, don't you think? Oh, well, I suppose we won't take it then. How's our plant doing? plant is in pretty bad shape. Isn't this supposed to be one of the easier plants to take care of? Careful, the poor thing is more fragile than a snowflake. Oh dear. They say plants react positively to conversation, but this poor thing might be too far gone already. Everyone loves a vertical sliding window. Slide currently broken, window being propped open by that book. Maintenance request pending. Uh, Despite the smell, keep the window open. Better to have gross air than no air. Besides, the window's broken. There's no one out there to talk to. What about this book? A copy of Wickfield. Sometimes the old books are the best. Especially to keep your window propped open. You give the book a pep talk. Keep that window open. Hold your position. Don't lose focus. The classics can get boring pretty fast after multiple reads. Besides, it's more useful holding up the window, so we can't take it. What about our coffee? The Great Equalizer. The one thing that the poor and rich alike need to chug through the day. At least you assume. You take a sip of the old stale coffee. The letters F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. Oh dear. 
This cup is really cooled off on talking. It lost the hots for you a while ago. <laughs> Alright. Um, what about our bed? Your home within your home. Nothing like curling up under those blankets and escaping for a while. You'd better submit your article before you turn in, or you won't have a place to sleep for long. I suppose it is pushing us along the way, but it's good in these sorts of games to get a sense for everything around you. You probably shouldn't sleep before submitting your article. This bed only chats back when you're sleep talking. It's not the most well-designed function. At least you feel safe behind this newly installed security door. It's late and nothing is really open right now, so we're not going to go outside. Command the door to stay locked. It bleeps stoically back at you. Well, I suppose we ought to use our headphones on some of these things, like it said. So... <laughs> those damn headphones on our poster. You touch the poster, and YMO begins playing in your ears. What about our plant? What can we hear from it? Oh no, don't use the spoiled milk on it. No, don't listen. It's not a good vibe. Oh, unfortunate. Um, perhaps this book? Perhaps it links to an audiobook. It does! Good voice acting. Unfortunately, you're not going to get much of that here from me. Our trusty lappy. The GX Ultra Beats sync automatically as you start to watch a live concert from Oakland. Hey now, you're getting paid to write this review. No one expects you to be this morally grounded. Perhaps our sync? Oh, we should probably get rid of the spoiled milk. You really don't want to do anything to increase the chances of the slime becoming any more alive than it already is. Oh no. Alright, let's try the headphones. You can hear the sink gurgling in high definition. You're not going to get audited on your Times headphones used coda. Oh, I suppose we shouldn't use it too many times. We haven't looked at this laptop yet. Good ol' Lappy. It may not be the most powerful or the fastest, or have the best screen, but, well, it works. A very relatable sentiment for myself. We've told it it's looking pretty hot there. Like, literally. Oh dear, it's overheating. Laptops often have very poor thermal management. We might as well use it to write this review. Lappy is a bit of a relic. An interesting interface. Better finish your article before bed. So we have... We are logged onto the junk net. Much like the actual internet. And the system is called the LIPS, which I, I, I did miss what that stands for. It's a bit odd. Uh, should probably check our mail. Your inbox. Hell so terrifying, so specific, so personal that no other living thing should dare enter. Luckily, you're the only person with the password. Let's see. Oh my. Spam? Get cheap crash! Only 99 creds for 30 day supply, 212 stims. Doesn't sound particularly healthy. Scam? Hello there, I am Princess Emma Thomas. Yes, THE Princess Emma, heiress to the digital empire of the horse fortune. I write you today as I need your help to secure my great fortune. You see, it has become frozen and I need to transfer it to at least five different accounts or the World Bank will seize my credits, amounting to 420,000. Please, if you could send your personal credit ID marker to me immediately so that I can send you your 20% of the fortune. I'll only require that you send half back upon receipt of the funds. You may keep the rest of the money. The best part? There's literally nothing that could go wrong. So grab yourself some Vegemite and welcome to the Queendom. What is this email? 
Yes, these sort of scam emails are much less common these days. An interesting throwback in the future. Here are some bills we're ignoring. Your account is past due in the amount of 1,400 credits. Failure to restore your account may result in termination of service. Oh dear. That age-old choice between food or electricity. This is from our work. Hey there, I'm the lead editor for What the Fuck Sounds. Formerly, Oh My God, Zounds. Quite the names. We're a new and up-and-coming audio review feed looking for hot talent who need a platform for their work. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. We'd be able to give you some great exposure, and if we like your stuff, could possibly throw some creds your way. Don't they know do people die of exposure? Indeed. You should never work just for exposure. Always get paid when you do work. More bills? According to this email, your rent is nearly due. Better get that article submitted. A coupon for five credits back on Hassie Infinite. Oh, I skipped over the voiceover, sorry. All of your daily calories with none of the nutritional value, like the opposite of diet. There was that. An invite to come see the lighting ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. Trisha Lay, DDS. Why would your dentist invite you to a lighting ceremony? It's probably a trap. This is your weekly update from Vintage Tech, your number one service for classic technology. Popular pieces this week, The King of Click, a retrospective on the classic model and the keyboard. Do I want to subscribe? No, I, I won't subscribe. Oh, I have no other option. Oh dear. Request denied. Your subscription cannot be modified. Well, at least it has honesty in that fact, unlike most of our other subscription services these days. I suppose I could listen to the news. Okay, today is Neo San Francisco's most beloved morning show all about news and entertainment. People in Neo Oklahoma are still confused by the name, I can imagine. This is the show's online newspaper called The Scanline. Okay, today is usually all about feel-good news, but it does focus on serious current events at times as well. Let's see, we have a few articles. We have Charlie Nova. Hey, it's Charlie Nova, host of Star in the Stratosphere, and tonight in the stars, Join Ryan B. Jossio and the Hassy Boys for our 10th annual TMI New Year's Eve special, where I'll interview some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show, starting at 10 p.m. I must say, I think they did quite a good job with the voice for him. I remember this character being a bit of a polished sleazeball read about the sports. A story about our hometown, Neo San Francisco 49ers. Their quest for 10 is back on. December 19th, Sunday's big game at New Candlestick brings an important question to everyone's mind. Can they punch their ticket to the playoffs and bring the Lombardi Trophy back to Neo San Francisco? It would mark the first win since the move to New Candlestick after an almost 50-year hiatus from the city. Since returning, they've had disappointing losses to the New York Giants and Mexico City Luchadors. They've brought on a fresh coach, but controversy surrounds their new quarterback, Patricia Lopez, as some vocal sports fans continue to accuse her of having illegal cybernetic enhancements. Uh, now we're getting into the crux of the issue of what makes someone human and what is fair game. Certain modifications of... In, or... excuse me. Certain implants are banned by the League, but their official reports state their repeated investigations into Lopez found no evidence to substantiate these rumors. It's relevant to point out that Lopez is the first woman to ever be quarterback in a major football team. I somehow doubt that by this point. They look to reclaim their top spot since their last win with their Super Bowl... Um... Oh dear. 
their victory over the Tokyo Titans. I, unfortunately, my Roman numerals are quite lacking. Sunday's game is a rubber match, and the winner secures a spot in the playoffs against the Kansas City Chiefs. This is quite, quite an actual article. Local news. A story about a broken down Froyo stand. Golden Gate Park vandalism on the rise. Reports show that local foodie booth JJ's Froyo stand was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of a rogue ROM committing an act of vandalism. The cart was evidently attacked and damaged by a large ROM that had no shell. Witnesses state that the alleged perpetrator has been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into the nearby trees on the western side of the park. Now this is foreshadowing, we're actually going to deal with something like this soon. This is the first case of a ROM being reported to live on its own in the wild as a stray. Police say that tracking down a potential owner is likely impossible. Some speculate this strange ROM may have been framed by vandals who set their crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by a rogue ROM. Okay, today I reached out to Parallax for comment, and they sure assured us that this is purely a myth that tends to pop up conveniently when low-revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance claim. They sound like something of a scummy organization. Parallax did not appreciate the reports of vandalism being attributed to their models. Is this the real deal, or could it be a fairy tale? And one more story, a current events article, about the human revolution, the rather creepy anti-cyborg group. But I think we spent enough time listening to the news, we should probably continue on with the story, or at least spend some time wasting our time on YouTube. I mean, Lips Live, a premier online video network, like a mesh of all active streams. The GX Ultra Beats sync to Lappy automatically as you connect to one of the less pornographic feeds. Oh dear. Your best options are usually limited to video game streams, old concert recordings, and live cams of baby animals. Your choice is clear. Lappy speakers feel neglected, but now you have the first hand experience needed to start actually writing the review. The first part of work is done. You're so accomplished. Journalogic isn't the fanciest program, but it's the only word editor that still gets updates for a machine as old as yours. A familiar issue. Alright, time to get work out of the way. Let's do this. Selling your soul, bit by bit. Character by character. Finished. Now to send it off to the editor. A big break. Surely you a glowing review of these headphones is your ticket out of poverty into a book deal. Surely. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed. Oh, might as well get some sleep. Mysterious.